Hey, Tiny Tea Prepper here, and I wanted to show you that the dragon fruit blossoms have started to fill out here. It looks like they're getting ready to bloom. It looks like pretty much all of them there are at the same place. Those are pretty close, if not already. One of those bloomed last night, I don't think so. And I got one there. I didn't, don't think I noticed him. The rest of these should all open up tonight, and I'll go about doing hand fertilization. I'm about to get a ladder or something to stand on for some of those that are up there high, but that'll be all right. So anyway, I'll come back out here later, maybe 10, 11 o'clock at night and see how much they're opened in and maybe get a good picture of the blossoms and then show a couple different techniques. I'm going to try pollinate and see which one works the best. Anyway, Tiny Tea Prepper sign Tiny Tea here. And I wanted to show you the dragon fruit blossoms. They have all pretty much blossomed out. It was about three hours later after I got home and it turned dark and that one there must have bloomed last night. So. I'm going to try and reach in there, see if I can pollinate him yet with some of this other newer pollen. But these others are all just blossoming tonight. You can see them all up there. So I'm going to go get me a brush and do some pollination that way. And if you take a look here at the different parts, if I can hang my light up here someplace where I can still see it. This here is where the pollen is on these. And this is what needs to be getting pollinated, is this out here, from what I understand. So I'm going to get the brush and try and get some pollen on my hand and, and get that over to there. So, that's one way I've seen people do. And my battery's a little bit low, so I may have to go charge the battery and come back to that in a little bit. I can see pollen getting on my hand there. So, Get a little bit more. I'm gonna go get a brush and see if that works any better. You can see there on the fingers, you can see just a little bit of yellow. That's the pollen getting on there. They're supposed to be self fertile. I'm gonna go from one blossom to the other and attempt to just cross pollinate them with each other's blossoms rather than themselves, but they should all be uh, fertile. So, anyway, I'm gonna go get a brush and start that and and just kind of go around and do what I was doing with my hands to get the pollen in there and then get it to the other part there to get it pollinated. So hopefully I'll get some dragon fruit off these. Tiny Tea Prepper here, I wanted to show you other than <clears throat> using your hands uh, to pollinate the dragon fruit, uh, you can use a brush. Now the type of brush I got here is a pottery brush. It's got a soft uh, bristles there on the end and that seems to work pretty good. And you can see down there some of the pollen that uh, I got off and I'll show you how I did this with the brush and, and got that out. Okay, tiny tea back here, and and I got the brush. Let's see if I can get this. And if I can get out of the light. And what you do here is with the brush, just kind of hit those, and you can see there's quite a bit of pollen that drops off down below there and I'm just scraping that onto the plate that I got you see there quite a bit more come off in that pile and that's what I'm going to go around and pollinate the other flowers with so I got another flower up here and I'm just going to put a little bit of that pollen use my brush tripod here maybe see I get that all over and get that onto the brush and go pollinate and this is a part I'll show you on this one like I did before uh, this is the part that you want to pollinate is what's right here this part that sticks out I'll put some of that pollen on there now I did all these flowers earlier with the brush and I just kind of showing you here now and kind of hitting them again just to make sure I'll do the same thing with this one here Here, 
here now. It's early morning. I'm hitting these again. Just uh, in case. But I think I already got the rest of them pollinated, so I'm going to leave those. Just trying to make sure I got something on there. But anyway, here's the dragon fruit cactus. And you see that one that closed up already. The rest of these will close up during the day today. They only stay open one night. So you got one night to catch these blooms and to pollinate them. Uh, if you don't have the right insects or the right bats, I think it is in their native country, then you need to hand pollinate these yourself in our area. Didn't sure. Now I did have some bloom and pollinate themselves. Uh, what I used to do or tried was like on some plants, you can just come over here, you can shake them like that, and that shakes that pollen. But with that uh, deal sticking up there, right here, it may not always get the pollen. And we'll see if this has better luck. I've tried pollinating by shaking them the last couple of times and didn't have any luck with it. So hopefully this works a little better with the brush and, or with your hand to get that pollen. If you don't have a brush, you can probably use your hand. Wipe it around. I'd probably use a brush. I think get in there a little bit better with it. So, anyway, that's the dragon fruit cactus and pollination. Y'all have a good day. Hey, Tiny T here, and just showing the blossoms here. There they blossomed, and this is just the very next day. I was out here this morning, took a few videos of it, kind of show. And what I'm going to be watching for now is see if that forms into a fruit there at the base. And, it does and we know we have good pollination if they don't I think they're just falling off because they don't get pollinated so before I'd always shaken them but uh, from what others have posted and stuff I've seen that that's not you need to actually get that pollen out to the end of that uh, I think it's called a stamen or something there and uh, get that pollinated but anyway just taking a look and I'll be following these to see how the uh, blossoms do with the pollination, see if it actually turns into some dragon fruit for me. So anyway, Tiny T Prepper signing out. Y'all have a good day.